that's gonna that's gonna hit you pretty hard. So, but I mean, it's not. Ow! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty serious. Uh, we took and yesterday we cut the metal off and hung the, gu the gutter up and the gutter guard. We had that all on film, but at some way or another I deleted all that. So I guess this is step two minus that part, I guess, because I deleted the video footage of that. But anyway, it's just common stuff. I just cut the metal with my skill saw and then we hung up the, the gutter. And like I said, put the gutter guard in it. But it, I gave it a good, a pretty dramatic fall into the middle here. So it should catch all the rainwater. Should. Most of it, anyway. And we use this black, it's like a mesh, it's metal gutter guard. So, and we'll see. But anyway, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to hook this up. This right here is a, a two inch that rubber coupling. And it fits perfect on this downspout of these gutters that you get from like Lowe's and Home Depot and all that crap. It fits perfectly on it and it seals it good. Uh, if you put the, uh, what they call the seam sealer on the inside there around it and then put it on down here, it, it won't leak. So, anyway, what I'm doing now is I'm going to hook all these pipes up. I'm going to come out of here something like this and uh, into the into the barrel like this, give or take like this. Pretty much just like that right there. But I need this on there too. And I don't know how I'm gonna pull that one off. Move the flex seal so we can see. There you go. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna pull that one off. Unless I do it, I really don't know. Cause it needs to go down, but I can't take it down. That's one block high. I'd like at least have it like that. And it's already plumbed in over here, so I really can't do nothing with that. So, maybe if I put that way up in there, is that far up in there, try to rig something up, take it back loose. Okay, let's this way up and see if I can get it to go. If I'd bought that. The other one is for two inch but it's outside diameter and this is in I mean it's outside the other one's inside diameter so if I'd got it it would have went right over top of that. But I didn't. And this is not gonna go over top of that. Yeah that's not gonna go. Maybe if I take that. Anyway, let me get this figured out and we'll come back and I'll show you what I did with it. All right, here's just a view of the, the gutter garden stuff that's in there. I'm gonna paint the roof on this side also. I'm gonna paint it green like I did the other side. Just hopefully make it last. Like I said, we're using recycled metal on the roof. Uh, this guy here locally that <clears throat> tires down old barns and sheds and stuff and he sells this stuff real cheap. So, I mean, why not use recycled, you know? And this whole everything that we've used on this chicken barn so far other than the lumber the lumber's new i bought it from lowe's and home depot uh but everything else well the gutter's new too as far as structural wise every, all the metal on this building is recycled every bit of it the inside and outside um then the gutter come from home depot uh but anyway back to this thing here's what i'm doing i got that rubber boot to go i actually got this to go up in that rubber boot and sealed it down right there and then I clamped it down on that downspout right there and that is that is shocking somewhere now I was going to say it was shocking me last night yeah that is somewhere now that's shocking but anyway there's some kind of current going through this building we need to figure that out maybe I'd like the fence grounded down on over there maybe so anyway it shocked me two three times last night yeah but anyway this one go in here and this one go right here out and that's gonna be the overflow. So here, right here.
got some kind of electric current one, but mm -hmm. has to be them solar panels. So, yeah. Or the fence box. Huh? Or maybe the fence box. Yeah, we'll have to check. With the electrical current, it's like a, it's pulsing like that fence box over there, but it, I don't even think it's on. I'll have to go check. So, anyway. That's the Samani's chicken. They're solid black. Even the organs are black. The skin's black. The meat's black. Um, I don't know if I'd eat one or not, just knowing that. But anyway, we want to show those since we mentioned them earlier. We got two roosters and three, well, pull this. They're not old enough to lay yet. They should be laying any time now, so we're going to have to put a nesting box in this side. So I'm gonna get like three or four white leghorns put in there with them. But anyway, we want to show them to you. Right. What I'm doing is I don't know if I put it in there or not, but anyway, in the video you'll see me get the piss shocked out of me back there. Um, I don't, I don't really think it's the well it has to be the solar panels because that's unhooked. But the, the solar panels right now is putting out 199 volts. I just checked the charge controller. And I got 199 volts going from here. Well, coming off the panels in here. So, I mean, that's enough to kill you. If that's truly what it is. But something's definitely shocking you on this building. You can touch the metal. But it ain't doing it up here, though. Mm -mm. Just in the back at the water tote. Yeah, it's just back there. I don't know what's going on with that. That's weird. I don't know, so I mean, it's not done it up here. And I hate to get lectured again. You got an audience up here watching me. Well, instead of sticking my finger to it, let me. 
I have this to save my finger. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if there's any current coming off of that. Hold that right there. Okay, bring it over this way. I just saw. Hundred sixty volts coming off that roof. So we got, we have to have something shortened out up there. Shorting out, but I mean, it's still, just like right here. 168 volts. Hello, ladies. 165 volts. So somewhere or another, we have voltage coming off that metal roof. So, Maybe a grounding issue. I mean, honestly, I don't know what else it could be because the connections are good. Try to ground it. See what it does. Right. I'm pretty sure this is going to be dangerous. I'm pretty sure. Make sure that's good and tight. Because I'm going to try to ground this. On. I can't say that I'll do it on one of the panels. Or if I'll do it just to the roof itself. That needs to be on that frame right there, I'll bet. So, if I could get that. wire and some self-tapping screws I'll get some zip ties to hold it up there but 
I'm going to try to hook all the panels together and we have any screws right there. I'm going to start by connecting all the panels together. I ain't got the solid copper wire, so what I'm doing is just shaving a little spot here and there. And putting the wire through the copper itself. Like that. And then I'm just running it into the back. out of a like a combiner box or whatever it's like a little grounding grounding section for it so that way I can just use this one big wire I've got right over there I have to fasten it down to run it in here into this block that'll give us an earth ground to here Then we got an earth ground up to here. And then I'll run this and tack it down. Um, and then plug it in here. And then those all be ground earth grounded on those. Alright, be right back.
155 bolts right there. 157. Hell, I could just about use this for a positive wire to run to another charge, charge controller. I'll touch the end of it, you know. I'll have to put that cover on this thing because that, that, I mean, that would borderline make that hot, you know. So. What I'm going to do here in a second is I'm going to get up there and watch that sun goes down a little bit more. So I'm going to get up there and hook the other six panels together like we did here. I'm going to make little jumper wires and go ahead and put the wires in before I get up there. That way I can just go up there and zap them in right quick. And then I'll run like we've done this lug right here. I'll put a lug on there, screw it directly into the frame. And then I'll put one of those on the other six and run it down here and ground it in the same spot. I'll run it underneath there and come down with the same wire and ground it. So, we'll see. I mean, this right here will somewhat ground it. So what I'm saying, maybe somebody that's watching this can explain to me why I have voltage on this wire. I'd love to know, because there's no, none of the wires are naked you know, like shaved or frayed in any way on the solar panels. Uh, there are lines we run, they're out, none of the wires have exposed wire on them, touching anything up there. So, I don't know. Maybe somebody does. I'll be back in a minute. The sun's coming back. Okay, there it is. Now, if I can get this in here. <clears throat> okay, so I've been on the phone with Signature Solar. And all I think I want to know is if anybody else have this problem. And evidently, uh, she don't know. So it is grounded now, one side of it. Right here. One side of the array is grounded now. And now... I'm going to take my meter back and try to back down to the box and see if I have voltage on this roof anymore. Okay, we have we have no voltage now. Nothing coming off of it right now. So grounding, grounding it fixed it, but hold that for me. Mm -hmm. Right there. I just want to make sure. Um, I was doing this earlier right here. And it was showing me voltage. So let me take this back off. We have this, let me take this back off and then we'll check it again. Then we'll be right back. All right, I took the cover off. Let's see what kind of voltage we're getting. 53 volts. 53 volts. We're getting, well it's cloudy too, but 52 volts, 53 volts. So we're, we're getting voltage. So, can you come closer and hold that for me? Mm -hmm. Hold that right up just like that. Let me touch that and that. Okay, I'm still getting, still getting voltage on that riff. 50 volts, 49 volts, 53 volts, 4 volts. So. Still getting voltage on the roof. Still. So, 
and that's what we're getting from there. 53 volts. So we're still getting the same amount of voltage onto that metal roof. So that did not fix it. grounds on it the unit struts are grounded each solar panel is grounded together and grounded to the grounding block so if it's a grounding problem now I don't know what this minute I've got four grounds on it did that fix the problem probably not but I mean I don't know what else to do What I'm doing is I got each panel wired together, grounded together. That one rail grounded together, this one whole rail grounded together. Then I have one long wire going from that panel to the earth ground. Then from that one to the earth ground. Uh, the actual what it, unistrut that we used to uh, put them on the mat, the roof with, I grounded the wire to those. Well, one on each one, one there and one there, run to the earth ground. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire the two arrays together, ground them together. And we I mean, honestly can't do much more grounding than that. Like I said, I've got this row of six grounded to each other and then one wire run to the earth ground. The second row of six grounded together and run to earth ground. And then I wired the two together. Okay, and then the unit struts that's on the roof, I actually put a ground wire on those, one on each array, and run it to the earth ground. Okay, with that being said, I went down there and killed the breaker outside of the grow what sending, you know, the I got a disconnect here and a disconnect right there inside the house. You know, that way kind of redundant. So I kill the power inside the house from the solar panels if I need to, or here, one the either, one the other. Then I went there and killed that switch thinking maybe the grow what was back feeding up here. All right, with that being said, it's not. Okay, no, nothing, zero, zero volts. All right. But from the panels, right now it's cloudy. It's, it's a big cloud one over. I'm getting 52 volts off of one array. 50, 47, 46 volts off the other, 45. Okay, let me show you that one real quick. So it's 52 volts off that array, all right? That's the positive wires from each array coming in. I'm checking right here on the breakers. Okay, and I got it grounded right there on the ground bar. Okay, now if I touch this metal ceiling, you can see I got 52 volts, the same as going into the breaker box. So, I don't know what else to do to it. I mean, the only thing I haven't done is grounded this. But I really don't think that's going to amount to nothing. I really don't. I mean, I might get a wire and just try it and see what it does. Let's do that. Let me uh, be right. I'm going to get a piece of wire and then I'll try that and just see what it does. All right. 
pretty much as I know that's not the way to ground it, but it is wrapped around that and stabbed into the ground. It's good enough as the ground. And I got it right in here to the ground block in here. All right, then this is on the ground block. And as you can plainly see, hang on, I gotta get a good spot on it. I'm still getting 55 volts. And that's because it's cloudy. So, I'll have to troubleshoot it more, make some more phone calls. I don't know, because everybody's closed today and obviously signature solar. Um, don't know. Well, just, no, the girl I talked to has no clue. She don't even know what the hell I was talking about. But uh, they won't say anything because they're afraid you sue them. And all I was asking is, has anybody ever had this problem? You know, I mean, I, I didn't want them to tell me to fix nothing. I just wanted to know, is, hey, has anybody else called with this problem? She said, I can't advise you. Yeah, she said she can't tell me nothing because I need to hire an electrician. And, I mean, if she didn't know, she could have just said she didn't know. But either way, it is what it is. I'm going to leave these off. Don't go back into the house. I mean, 55 volts or even 100 volts. AC voltage, I don't think that's that much on DC side. You know what I mean? So, I mean, there really ain't nothing we can do other than leave it because I can't get up there and unhook them all. I ain't going to do all that. Until we figure out what to do. Yeah, until we figure something out. But as of right now, uh, we'll end the video here, but <clears throat> I mean, it's more troubleshooting. If anybody out there knows, has ever run across this or knows anything about it, why my roof has got voltage on it and it being grounded like four different grounds i've got four separate grounds up there now so it's not a grounding problem so i don't know which tells me is our other panels doing this too and i've never been shocked by any of them so no me neither and it's not a single panel it's not a single panel causing the problem because if it was, it'd just be that voltage. It's the voltage of one whole string, you know? So. Anyway. If anybody got any ideas, let me know. Until then, I'm going to shut it off until I figure it out. I uh, really want to be safe with it. Anyway, till next time.